there are three basic ways in which you can award badges in Badger. One way that you can grant a badge is to set it up in Canvas so that Canvas automatically grants the badge. For example, here's a course that was created by Debbie Milliken at Toro University of Nevada on designing online courses for accessibility. And as you can see, what she has here is three modules. And upon completion of each of these modules, you receive a badge. So as an example, you can see here from my own progress, I have gone through and I have completed all of these items here. So I've completed all of the first module. And what that gives me is a badge, a red star. And when I click on the view details, it actually takes me into Badger. And you can see here is my red star. And when I click on it here, it says completion of module one in designing online courses for accessibility. And it was offered by, and you can see Debbie's picture here. And I was awarded that badge earlier today. Another way in which you can issue a badge is to send that badge directly to somebody. So here's an example of a conference that I attended a few months ago. And unfortunately, I've deleted my email already, but a colleague of mine who was also at the conference kept their email. So uh, Randy forwarded his email to me. And as you can see, the conference contacted Randy and they attached the badge down here and I could download that badge or as you can see there's a link here which would send me to the badge and it says I can add this to a digital wallet if I want put it in on my LinkedIn profile or post my credential to my Twitter and if I were to follow that link it actually takes me to this official certificate now in my case I actually deleted the message because I brought the actual badge into my LinkedIn portfolio and just left it there. So as you can see, this is my LinkedIn profile. And if I were to scroll down to, it's in the education section under licenses and certifications, you can see the most recent one that I have there is this Canadian EdTech Leadership Virtual Summit. You can see it was issued in January because that's when the badges were sent around and there's no expiration date. Um, and if you want to click on it and look at the credential, you can click on the credential. And now it takes me to my certificate. Now, in terms of actually adding that to my LinkedIn profile, all I did was I clicked on this plus sign. And it allowed me to go in and I could manually type in the name or what I did was copied and pasted it from the email address. Copied and pasted the organization from the email address. And then I put the credential URL down here and it pulled all of the rest of the information in for me based upon that. And once I was done, I just click save. And those are the three basic ways in which you can award badges in Badger.